What up, y'all? So, yeah, I was hit yesterday. I'm at the record place right now. I didn't tell y'all anything because I'm not gonna get no details. But um, yeah, my car is out of order. <laughs> like Pete said, <laughs> out of order. Okay. Um. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a really long process, so yeah, um, yeah. So that's it. I was hit and I had to go to the hospital. The side of my head hurts, it still hurts. Y'all know this is the next day, so um. You know, gonna be really sore. My arm that's holding this phone hurts. My leg, like my wrist. So, yeah, and this side of my neck now, yesterday it wasn't hurting, but this side is hurting now. I already got my medicine and stuff. Um, I gotta take that when I get back to the house, but uh, yeah. This is the record place that I had to um, send my car to. And then I have another record that's cheaper. Uh, they're gonna bring it to my house. Cause um, I can't get it like fixed immediately because the insurance just has got to do all their thing or whatever. So yeah, that's what happened to me. That's why I'm not uh, uploading today because I wasn't even able to film yesterday. And um, yeah so unfortunate y'all so unfortunate i thought my car was gonna be um totaled but marshall looked at it and he was like girl we could get that fixed or you know the insurance is um uh, the other person's insurance is gonna take care of it but um yeah i'll probably get it fixed before they do though honestly because I need a car. It's very important I have a car. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm all the way back to the house. Peace. Guess what, y'all? <laughs> How's everybody doing? First of all, guess what we're making today? We are making butter chicken. Y'all, I saw this recipe on TikTok. She don't have no measurements, but you like if you cook a lot like you can watch somebody and know about how much they put you know what i'm saying um you don't really need measurements but this is all of the ingredients to marinate the chicken i'm about to cut up these chicken thighs you can use breasts if you want to um greek yogurt salt garlic paste chili powder um this stuff called oh my god garam masala seasoning this stuff can y'all see that that okay um ginger powder turmeric and it didn't call for it ginger paste but i'm gonna put a little bit in mine because i like ginger so let's get to chopping this chicken. Well, I'm cutting it up because, and you can cut off whatever fat you want to cut off. Um, I'm just gonna put the fat in this bag right here. Is I trying to do it tonight? Okay. So you're gonna cut your chicken in bite-sized pieces, something that you would wanna put in your mouth. Yeah, cutting it like this with scissors is just easier for me. Especially cutting thighs. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna come out really, really good. Like, I feel like it's kind of hard to mess this up unless you burn something. Mm. 
I'm so excited. Let me know in the comments, have y'all ever made butter chicken? Or if you even like butter chicken, I love butter chicken. So good. I've already washed my chicken, just in case anybody's wondering. You know how people be worried about what they not eating. <laughs> that trips me out so much. Like, why did you wash your chicken? Like, uh, are you eating it? Honestly, it doesn't even matter if you're not eating it. But yes, I did wash my chicken. I always wash my chicken. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish chopping up the rest of this chicken and I'll be back. All right, are y'all ready? So everything's cut up. Y'all, my nail just came off. And this one, I didn't even notice that this one was broken. This one just got broken the uh, accident yesterday. So anyway, so we are going to add, it doesn't even matter which order you add this stuff in, some garlic paste. I wonder if I should put this in a refrigerator. I don't know, I guess I can look on here. See? Refrigerate, yep. Oh my mama. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some ginger paste. Oh, it's so potent, oh my God. Maybe I should. That's it. Uh, well, you know what? It's a little bit more. Y'all, ginger is so good. You don't use it when you're cooking. You're missing out, people. You're missing out. I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper to mine because I want it to be spicy. I don't know what they do to their meats to make it spicy, but I'm gonna just use some cayenne pepper. Cause the girl that I watch, she ain't had no type of Spicy spice to her food. Um, ground turmeric. Now come on out of here. Turmeric. Uh, this is gin ground ginger. Let's go ahead a little. Some chili powder. Some garam masala. Oh man, it just freaking pours out. Oh, this this is the spice right here. It smells like Indian food. This is the spice. Wow, salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And Greek yogurt. Let me rest this bowl now. Plain Greek yogurt, y'all. 
one, two. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Three. Put this up now. Cause I'm actually about to eat some of this with some fruit. Y'all, I literally didn't eat anything yesterday. I had to hurry up. When I came from the hospital, I had to hurry up, y'all, and make a freaking sandwich. It was right before 8 o'clock, too. I made a bologna sandwich, y'all. That's all I had yesterday. That was it. And then y'all left some. So, basically, you can go in with your hands and mix this up, or you can mix it up however you want to. I'm going to mix it with this spoon. But honestly, I don't feel like mixing it up with my hands. But I might go in with my hands anyway, because just to make sure it's all coated. And you're going to let this sit and marinate. She didn't say for how long. I'm just guessing. I'm going to be guessing how long. Yeah, I don't need to put my fingers in it. This is good enough. Hmm. Why well, don't smell the spices? I know I put enough in there. Try some more of this. No more ginger in there. Try some more chili powder. All right, that's good. Okay. We're gonna let this sit to the side and marinate. You can put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate. Because um, we are going to sear this off in a wok. Chop y'all up an onion, okay? Uh, a large onion or a medium onion, just not a small one. Yeah, I didn't use my chopper because it ain't clean right now, so. <laughs> I just chopped them up real quick. All right, so we got our own, y'all. All right, y'all, so we're gonna add some ghee. All right, you can get this at any grocery store. And add two spoons of ghee. And we're gonna put our chicken in here and cook it for about eight to 10 minutes. Because it'll cook some more um, after we make the sauce. It's all right. I think it is. Anyway, so you're just gonna pour your chicken in here. Oh yeah. I'll be back um, when this cooks through. Chicken's still cooking, but I'm having a little Greek yogurt with some blueberries and some blackberries. 
side, y'all. So this is cooked through. So you're gonna put this to the side, put it in a bowl, do something with it. Let me do that. Y'all, I tasted my chicken. It has a perfect amount of seasoning. It's so good. Ouch. Okay, so to this, same pot, y'all. I didn't clean it out nothing. Um, you're gonna add some more ghee. And then add your chopped yellow onion. And we're gonna add in those same seasonings that we use for the chicken. Chili powder. Remember, we don't have no measurements, so do what your heart tells you to do. Ground ginger, ground ginger. Yeah, no, I'm adding some cayenne. Ground turmeric powder, turmeric. and some of that um, garum masala. <coughs> and you're gonna let this saute for a few minutes. I'm gonna let mine saute until they're um, a little bit transparent. Alright, so to this, we're gonna add a small can of tomato paste. I don't have a small can of tomato paste, so I'm gonna have to eyeball mine. I think that's a small can. Then you're gonna add a can of chopped or diced tomatoes. this we're going to add some cashews. Y'all have had these cashews for so long. But they didn't say you could add any other nut. So go get you some cashews. Um, and it looked like she just added like a handful. These are, I don't know what kind of cashews these are. I'm gonna add some cashews. I think that's enough. Start that around. Then we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Like I said, 
We're uh, eyeballing. I think I'm gonna add this whole thing. Um, but this wasn't filled all the way up, y'all. So, and I think I'm gonna add some more. I want a lot of juice or a lot of uh, sauce. And we're gonna let this simmer. All right, y'all, you don't have to let it simmer too long, but you're gonna add this to a blender. You're gonna blend it, and then we're gonna pour it back in here, okay? So let's do that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna have to do this in batches because this is how big my blender cup is. So I'm just gonna take this, pour it in there like that. So everything is ready to go back in the pot. The smooth sauce because we blended all of the cashews. chicken to this with all the juices all of that stir that around let it simmer a bit oh that's more than enough sauce oh my god it looks so good y'all it smells incredible let it simmer for a minute and honestly that's it um the lady i watched she garnished with some um heavy whipping cream and some parsley i'm using cilantro for mine but i'm not about to garnish it right now i'm just gonna let it like chill out on low get all those flavors mixed together taste it Mm -hmm. We need some more salt. We need some more salt. Excuse me. Much better. All right. Freaking delicious. What's up, y'all? Are y'all ready? I am. Okay, so guess what I'm doing? For the non- since I can't have none, um, yes, I'm using this. Uh, this is, I believe these are zero calorie. Hold on, let me see. Yep, zero calorie um, tortillas, soft tortillas. So what I'm gonna do is use this garlic and herb butter 
to spread all around there and I'm gonna grill them. Mm-hmm, I bet you it's gonna be good. I can't freaking wait. Hopefully it works, y'all. And I'm putting cilantro instead of parsley uh, like on top of my soup. I'm just gonna chop up some uh, cilantro and I'm gonna use my cilantro lime sauce also because they have that like green sauce. I forgot what it's called. Is it called chutney or something like that? Or is that the sweet one? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna have my own sauce. Okay. I'm warming up the, um, the non, the non. I'm warming up the butter chicken right now because I made it earlier today to make sure, you know what I'm saying, that I got that part over with. So, um, we are about to plate in a few minutes. Let's see. I think, should I plate first or do my bread? Because I want to eat the bread while it's hot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me figure that out real quick. Yeah. Y'all probably not going to see me do this part. I'm just going to grill them and then just slather, slather them with this uh, butter. Yeah, garlic and herb butter. This is by Kerrygold. Okay. All right, y'all, so I just rubbed the butter on each side and then I put some, some of this butter on the um, actual grill and I'm just gonna grill them. I wanted y'all to see what I was doing. And you don't wanna grill them until they're crispy, right? You want them still pliable, but you want those nice, pretty grill marks. Not yet. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. And I'm doing three of them. I might not eat all three, but I just want to be sure. I should have put two on here at the same time. Uh oh, it's about to start bubbling. I'm put some more butter. Oh yes! Oh my God! It's gonna be so good. Look at all of that herb and garlic. Freaking yum! All right, y'all, so this is the gist of what I'm gonna be doing with these, okay? All right, y'all, so we have our buttery garlic naan. Yummy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plate. I'm so glad I got these bowls, y'all, from um, Dollar Tree. Like, lifesaver. Oh, it's nice and hot, so I was gonna put it uh, in a microwave to warm it up some more. Oh, freaking yum. This is going to be so good, y'all. Y'all need to try this recipe for real, for real. Oh, shoot. I forgot to um cut me up some cucumbers. Y'all know I need some cucumbers with this. Something fresh. I wish I had the mini one. Where are my cucumbers at? Girl, where are my cucumbers? <sighs> okay, did somebody eat my cucumber? I have one more left. I have one more chicken left. Here we go. All right, 
y'all. So here we are. Oh my God. <laughs> It looks amazing. It smells so good too, y'all. Oh shoot, I thought I got my hair in my cilantro lime sauce. <laughs> okay. Oh, we made, I made some butter chicken, y'all. Some homemade butter chicken. Doesn't that look amazing? And I just sliced up some cucumbers. I have my cilantro lime sauce and I made some buttery garlic naan. Yes, honey, out of some flour tortillas, zero carb, yummy, delicious. Doesn't that look amazing? Mm, mm, mm.